when we had last left Team Bald. Their undercover work as drow infiltrators continued, this time leading them to, uh, well, try and <laughs> try and help some of the drow, and then they would have to have a meeting with one of the other members at the tavern very soon, who they had just recently helped out and would want to speak with them about uh, perhaps f future duties. But along the way, along that path, did they encounter once more the big giant uh, tubed creature, fish lord, that was contained within the area. And it was there that they learned it had super psionic fish abilities and wanted them to murder someone within the city. Or else it would reveal their secret disguises to the entirety of Ustanatha. And so... Team Bald complied, killing a drow priestess inside of her own home, as well as her vast entourage of guards. Now, with the Aboleth appeased and shut up, uh, it was time to go to the tavern and see what await inside. But maybe first they would do something else. This is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Now, let's unhide all of that and head on out real quick. All right, then. Just for a little something else, because... General viewer at Kyle A. House wrote in saying that we should consider going back to check in with the Duragard dwarves, who are we the merchants out here in the like main forth. underdark area, right? While we're under our disguise, <gasps> and I'm worried like we will lose our disguise after <laughs> some time. So let's go do that immediately. There we are. I guess they'll have some kind of different weird reaction to us being drow. I don't know. Actually, we probably shouldn't go directly up to them. We'll just kind of hang out right there. Yeah, are there, are there other quests out here that play differently? If you're under the disguise? I guess the stuff involving the, the deep gnomes... You can't do any of that while under the disguise because they're the ones who introduce you to... The dragon that does it to you to Adelon. So maybe that you have to do in your normal yes. form. Okay, over here. Hello. Mala Sint Mala Sint Sintry! Most noble of Drow! I Carly, the simple traitor! Welcome your person! Spare my language, your fumbling tongue. Show me your wares and be quick. Have you seen anyone that shouldn't be here? You would know of whom I speak. I wish nothing from you, worm. You will be fortunate if my mood remains so. Have you seen anyone that shouldn't be here? Ah, yes, I have. There were two that traveled to the city. Your, your city. I'm an agent of vampire. I assume they were their own business. Uh, there was another group as well. They seemed interested in where the first two were going. And I thought it drow business. Not that I should know what business they have with drow. That is their concern and yours. Not my affair at all. Very good. Now show me what you have for trade today. Good a, a good attitude. I leave you to your trading. If you see the second group again, treat them well. They're guests. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> if you see the second group again, treat them well. They're guests. Of course, of course! It shall be so! Alright, show me what you have. Do you have anything new for sale for me now? I don't think so. No. I wonder if we'll get a discount or, like, something special if we come back again. Very well. Hello. What about you? I do not recognize you. I thought we knew every member of the lock of patrols. We are newly formed and are only just familiar familiarizing ourselves with the area. I should kill you for claiming knowledge of our routines, but I'm feeling generous. Well, you don't and you won't. It is not your concern. I should kill you for claiming knowledge of our routines. Ah, I'm sorry for disturbing you. I meant no offense and did not presume to know your affairs. That was close. We must make an effort to act as we appear. 
You heard her. Pretentious attitudes for everyone. Care to model yours, Jahira? Uh, just so we get it right. Edwin, in some, in some another time, some other place, such a comment would get you a beating of mythic proportions. It may yet. Huh? And how about you, Uder Morden? Just as I would have thought. I fear I have little more to say. I purposely try to avoid excitement, especially in this place. Other than the mage imprisoned in a cavern north of here, I've not seen anything unusual. Oh, that's weird. What? The other this two have reactivity simple. to us being drow, but uh, that one dude just says the same thing. Okay. Which, a surprising amount of reactivity to, to us in our disguise. I think it was worthwhile. Okay, let's head on back over here. Good, good, good. Now, also, while we're waiting for our character, our parties to our party to move, uh, you will notice if you're watching these videos as they're coming out, that's right. This video came out at a different time. Uh, for the first time since the channel's inception, the CRPG scheduled slot has changed. It is no longer what it used to be, and not due to any sort of temporary break or whatever. This is just going to be the new normal going forward. Uh, it will be nightly, right? Every night we will have the CRPG slot to it. do its uh, usual thing, right? Uh, we sort of teased and talked about this no a little bit before. You must gather your party before uh, the reason being, forth. as far as CRPGs go, we have quite the backlog, right? We have quite the number of games that I would like to play that would fulfill the CRPG slot, and uh, there are just more getting made, and every time they get made, CRPGs tend to be fairly sized, fairly decently large, and I would like to play a lot of them, right? I would love to do that. Huh? So, uh, I figured, hey, with Dragon's Dogma 2 now completed, right. we will make this our nightly one, right? And uh, it will be tomorrow uh, that Fallout 3 happens to take the place of the usual CRPG slot. Anyway, uh, in the event that I'm busy, that also means, uh, as it was with anything else that used to fulfill the nightly slot, that said, the CRPG slot has always also kind of uh, fulfilled this role because the CRPG slot is fairly easy to record, relatively speaking. Um, but this will be one in which if I need to, if I'm like super busy, we may have to do shorter videos or we may have to skip a night or something like that, right? Just something to be aware of. And granted, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably mention this going forward whenever it comes up because as we go into different playthroughs, which hopefully we'll be able to accomplish at a higher pace now, but as we go forward with uh, CRPG playthroughs, you know, I'll, I'll need to do a reminder or whatever. Anyhow, we'll probably talk about this in Tuesday's In Real Life video. Is this person going to talk to me? No. There they are. In here. Wow, the tavern is way bigger than I thought it would ask? be. How are these buildings shaped? Marinid, Nim Kalaza, Ilmrin, Sordrin, Barag, Tathlin. Okay, and what's up with you, Marinid? Do not question the matron mothers. Do not question the matron mothers. Greetings to you, O oh potent female. Stay for a time, if you wish. The group of us here are sharing exploits in tales of the past. Something I doubt you Nasadrins have time for, eh? I have a tale for you, if you're interested. Something my house mother once told me. In fact, if you're of a mind, that is. Sure, I'd like to hear it. I've actually some questions. Maybe some other time. Sure, I'll hear it. Excellent. Ha! <laughs> my tale. My tale begins long ago, when our people first descended into the great depths and dark caverns, during a day when our homes were not carved out of stone and clay. Drow homes were made of twigs 
and black grasses, grass that many had brought with them into the Underdark. There were few homes, of course, but the largest belonged to the first matriarch. The matriarch led the early hordes of drow, helping them survive in hostile lands. She was powerful, potent, and cunning. A great boon to her people, who admired her greatly. To honor her, a group of drow set upon the shark fiends and stole the stone throne of their king to secretly present to the matriarch as a trophy. They stowed it in the grass rafters of her hall. Okay. The matriarch arrived in her hall, and the drow warriors went to retrieve the throne, but much to their horror, the weight caused it to fall through the grass rafters and crush the matriarch below. <laughs> okay. It is a sad, sad tale of our early travails in this dark place, and it holds a moral as well. Can you think of the moral, female? Hmm. Don't stow thrones in grass houses? Yes, yes, that's it exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imbecile, how dare you tell such a moronic lie about the history of our people? Loth will sentence you to an eternity of poisoned agonies for such madness. Ah, the Spider Queen has no sense of humor. Now, Varian, on the other hand... You dare? I shall kill you in the name of the mother of all drow, fool. He is mine. No one interfere. Oh my god. Okay, well. Uh, I guess we just need to watch as this happens. I mean, what can we do, really? Maybe he'll win. God, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, they're really going- Oh! I'm gonna take that identify scroll. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what the fuck? Do not question the matron mothers. Yes! Oh, you Do sound like them too. from house and queens to walk into the grave. The blasphemous fool! Now I must go explain this death to the handmaidens. Bah! A foul worshipper of Varian! Here! I don't Very know well. who that is. Do you know Nim Kalaza? Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. The best surfacer is a dead surfacer! Ah! I didn't see you approach! My failing eyes shall net me a blade and my back soon enough! I swear it! I should be at home, dying properly like an old male drow, rather than here listening to tales so often. Can I ask you some questions? Do you have any tales of your own? I'll be on my way. Do you have any tales of your own? I have many tales of my past, but I've told them so often I do not care to repeat my words. Let the younger drow boast and beat their chests as they wish. Can I ask you some questions, then? Go ahead, and ask if you need to know something. I suppose I am old enough that I can sit still and answer a question or two. I should probably not ask of Lulth. Because being a drow, I feel like I should know. But maybe House Despania would make sense. Tell me of House Despania, or Despana. A strong house, branches of which you'll find in cities other than simply Ustnatha. Many of the great families have their beginnings here in the first city, yes? Despana is high in Lulth's favor, and many say that it schemes to place itself above all others here. I know little of such plans, however. Go ahead and ask if you need to know something. 
I suppose I'm old enough that I can sti sit still and answer a query or two. Do you know anything of dragons in the area? Hmm. I know of only one dragon that inhabits the, ca the near caverns of the Underdark, and that is the ancient silver beast, Adalon. She who was sent by our surface cousins to guard the old passages. Yes, that one. What can you tell me about her? It is said that the silver dragon once had a mate long ago. A mate who was captured by our people when we were still dwellers of the southern reaches. The heart of her mate was ripped from its body whole, as I hear. The Queen of the Drow used its heart in a ceremony of great darkness, one that angered an old, pale god of the surface to elves. I know not which one. Does it matter? When we were driven beneath the surface, sentenced by our fiendish cousins, their god made a pact with Adelon in return for her vow to guard the old passengers to the surface. He would give her what she desired most. At a time of her choosing, when she had grown old, Adelon would could call on the god, and he would grant her children eggs that would be made real by the soul of her lost dragon love. Also, the story goes, I hold little track with it myself, but then I would never venture into those old passages. Just in the, just in case the tales of her presence are true. Is there any news more recent? Perhaps you've heard of her eggs? Well, I've heard the passages to the surface are open once more. At least the matron mother certainly believes so. Gathering their armies as they are, perhaps Adelon is dead. I know not. Go ahead and ask if you need to know something. I sm okay, we heard this. I'll be going now. As you wish, female. On your way, then. Okay. What? Let's do a quick save. Just as I would have thought. What about... Ooh. Look at all this stuff. Do not Barag? question the matron mothers. Do not question the matron mothers. We are telling tales, female, of our feats and history. It is an old custom of Ustnatha, something you would be unfamiliar with, Nasadran. Tell me something of Ustnatha's history, then. Tell me about your own feats, then. Perhaps you could answer some questions for me? I'll go, then. Tell me of Ustnatha's history, then. Something of the city's history, eh? Yes. I suppose you would know nothing of it, ignorant lout. Do you even know of the part Ustnatha played in the scattering? The scattering? Ooh, we shouldn't say that, but we have no choice. Bah! Are you completely devoid of sense? Your house mother should be flayed alive for her neglect of your instruction. When the magical battles caused the collapse of Berindin, the great cavern held by the dwarves, most drow were crushed. Only the favored survived. Groups of drow fled the rubble in every direction, seeking new holds to establish their power set upon by our enemies. That was the scattering fool. Ustnatha was untouched by the Great War, and hordes of drow came to our walls for protection. Devourers and eye tyrants followed, seeking to eradicate them. For one century, our enemies waged constant war upon us. The walls of Usnatha held, however, and we pushed our enemies back in a merciless victory. Many of the drow then left Usnatha to fight. <laughs> I can't believe this is how they. This is the voice they gave them. To find larger living spaces, more resources to plunder, establishing your beloved Chednasad, amongst other places. There would be no Chednasad were it not for the walls of Ustanatha. That is the part Ustanatha played in the scattering. Do not forget it. What about your own feats? 
I have slaughtered many in my time, female. So do not ask such a question as if I have not. I am as battle-hardened as any in the fighter societies. I took part in a glorious running one hundred years ago, when a cavern leading to the surface was found. I helped raid the communities during the hunt. Many pathetic humans fell to our blades in that running. In memory of Ustnatha, I stumbled into a village of the subrace known as Halflings. The diminutive worms scattered. I hunted them all. I have their tiny skulls to this day. The running lasted a week before the humans marshaled their defenses. Do we know of this? Did we hear about this from Mazzy? Huh. A village of halflings? I feel like maybe we know the other side of this story. The humans collapsed the tunnel, but one day we shall find another, and I pray to again be amongst the drow who will take part in the running. I see. What about the city? What can you tell me of its history? Can I ask you something else? I see. I'll be going. I wonder what would happen if we had Mazzy in our party. I wonder if she would not be able to hold uh, her tongue. Can I ask you about something else? Oh, okay. I'll tell you my own tales as I wish, and I'll not be prompted by you. If you want to ask insipid questions, go bother someone else. I'll do that. Yes, you do that. Go. Okay. Well, there's Sulafane and Fair. This will be simple. Let's go over here first. Do not question the matron to walk apart from house and queens to walk into the grave. Greetings to you, female. You are the one who is recently from Chednasad, correct? I have heard of you. We drow gather to tell tales of our conquests on the surface, or dark stories of our past. It is tradition in Ustnatha, this place that was the first. Can I ask you some questions? If you wish an honest answer, female, your best course would be to approach Nim Kalasa there. He is the eldest of this group, and the most prone to talk. You mentioned the first. What did you mean by that? We do know what they mean. I'm not going to ask that in case. Do you have any tales to tell, then? I have few accomplishments yet, female. I completed the blooding but a year ago when I made a long voyage to the surface with two brothers. It is a blinding and foul place. The surface, my brothers and I found one of the surface elves, however, a female, pale and delightful to look upon. Delightful to look upon. She was almost too easily slaughtered. We were hunted by elven patrols, and my brothers were murdered, but I carried the head of the female back to the Underdark. It was considered a fine trophy for a blooding. My matron was pleased, and has sponsored my entry into the fight the male fighter society next year. Any other tales you could tell me? Can I ask you some questions, perhaps? You mentioned the first earlier. What did you mean by that? I'll be going then. Any other tales? No, not really. I came here more to hear the others speak myself. Okay. No time at all. What about you, Sordrin? Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. Victory for the Spider Queen. Greetings, lovely female. I am Sordrin, the master of the fighting pit. Entertainment for us all, and a chance to gain Lord's favor. You seem a hardy type. There are several dread beasts that have been captured and await your death blow if you dare. You are an Asadrin, yes, recently arrived. I have heard of you. There are many here who would desire to see if you fight as well as they say. Of course, if you are pale and cowardly, you need not make the attempt. The Spider Queen, however, respects only those who are strong. 
What exactly is involved in this pit fight? What sort of beast would I be fighting? Very well. I'll fight in your pit, Sostrin. I don't have time for this. What's involved in the pit fight? It is a simple matter, female. I open the door for a short time. You enter before I close it. Once inside, I have the beast pushed in to fight you. If you win, you come out and collect 250 GP as a reward, and the satisfaction of a glorious battle. You lose, and the slave feasts on your remains. Very simple. Oh. So they're slaves? What sort of beasts would I be fighting? We capture our foes in skirmishes, in the dark tunnels, female. Shark fiends, devourers, eye tyrants. It depends on who survives longest, really. Oh. Sorry, I need to take a drink. Some of these voices are, like, remarkably tougher than doing the, the usual dwarf voice, weirdly enough. At least for me. Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> All right. Well, I mean, if that's what we're fighting, sure, I'll fight in your pit. It is gratifying to see such steel in you, female. You shall first battle an Umber Hulk, a creature of not inconsiderable size. It is angry. I shall open the gate for you now. Go in quickly. If you survive, come and speak to me once you are done with for your reward. Go then, for Mother Loth. Okay. All right, then. Just me or the whole party? Oh, there it is. And Umber ah. Hulk is pretty fucking easy. Alright. Well, we've, uh, we've done it. Ah, the glory is yours, female. I am sure the queen of the demon web pit smiles upon you. An Umber Hulk is no mean, no mean opponent. Here is the reward. Now, should you wish to continue to show your prowess, there is another slave who awaits bloodletting at your hands, female. A dreaded Nabasu of the Lower Plains, captured by the Handmaidens for crossing a matron mother and sent to fight in the pits. What say you, female? Yes, I will fight the Nabasu in your pit. Very well, I shall alert the tavern that a glorious battle is about to begin. Prepare yourself, female. The gate will only open a short time. Oh, there it is. Some sort of weird demon. Fucking annihilated it. Okay. Sordrin. At your command. You defeated the Nabasu. Praise to you, female. We were very entertained by your struggle. Here is 500 GP for your display. Dare you continue? There is a prince amongst the shark fiends. The ones called Sawagan. A strong one captured with difficulty during a raid on their city. It is a strong fighter, this one. But then so are you. Perhaps you will succeed where others have failed. What do you say, female? I'll do it. Open the gate. Maybe it's a prince that we know. Very well. It's open only a short time. Okay. No, just a Sawagan prince. Yeah! For it. Huh. Gold ring off that one. Okay. And another one? Or rule of threes? The shark fiend is defeated. The spider queen smiles on you this day. Many weak drow were slaughtered by the beast. It is good to see it put in its place. You have proven yourself amongst us, female. For such a show, I give you 750 GP. Take it, and know you are worthy of Lul's favor. There is no need to continue. The, uh, the only slave left is one nobody has been able to defeat. It would be a waste to see you killed by such female. What slave is that? What type of creature? It is an eye tyrant, female. Nemesis of the Underdark, captured four years ago by a party of vengeful drow. It has never been defeated in the pits. It has many, many deadly powers. Only the bravest warriors have dared it, and have died. 
There is no need to fight, female, unless you wish to. I'll fight it, Sazra, and open the gate. You are sure? Excellent! Attention all! A most brave drow female has agreed to take on the most horrid of our battle slaves, the fearsome Eye Tyrant. I shall open up the gate for you. Move quickly, as I will not keep in them open long. Lost favor to you, female. Okay. Get on with it. Let's enrage here as well. Yes. Uh, they call beholders eye tyrants. With vengeance. I thought it was a different type of beholder. Very well. Oh, there we go. Uh -oh. Edwin got a little feared. I think. Panic. Can we get rid of panic with, like, remove fear? Do I have remove fear? Eh, may not. Oh, huh? yes. Okay. Well, should we wait here? I worry that we'll step out of here and then the doors will close. Okay, Just as are. I would have thought. Great. Well, what do I get for such a daring display? You. You have killed the Eye Tyrant. Truly, you are worthy of any lords Mother Loth might lay down upon you. Here, 1,000 GP as a reward for the sight. I see now why House Despana shows you such attentions. Despite being a Sodron, a female of your potency would be a worthy addition to any house. Unfortunately, there are no other battle slaves in my pen. None worthy foe for you. Perhaps if you return another time, I'll see what I can collect, yes. Fine. Tell me what you know of House Despana, then. Do you know anything about dragons in the area? I've heard the drow army here is busy. Any idea what they're doing? Perhaps you can enter the pit, and I'll fight you instead. Fine, I'll be on my way then. Hmm. Should I fight this guy? That feels like a very drow thing to do, is to kill him as well. <laughs> you know, that feels very drow. Eh, fine, tell me what you know of House Despana then. Despana? A potent house led by matron mother Audulus. Some say it shall one day be the most powerful in Usnatha, but Mother Loth can be fickle. It is said the matron mother has shown an interest in refugees from Ched Nassad, which I can only presume means you. Your battle prowess must be the reason. Do you know anything about dragons in the area? Rumors of dragon kind come and go. Some even say the matrons have made trade with the dreaded shadow dragons of the nether regions. That would make sense. The only one we know for sure of here is the fearsome silver beast that hunts the drow parties that go even go near the ancient passages of our first descent. I know little enough of it. Perhaps one of the storytellers here might be able to inform you better, if you are interested enough, that is. I've heard that the drow army here is busy. Any idea what they're doing? There are whispers of a great bloodletting planned upon our hated betrayers of the surface world. Betrayers of the surface world? Or is there like... They mean like drow that split off? Or perhaps war is to be made on the devourers? Regardless, you are correct. The matron mothers are hoarding warriors and mages. Until they say what they're doing, however... No one will truly know. Perhaps you can enter the pit and I'll fight you instead. Uh, I am no match for your skills, female. If you are so desperate for blood, I will go to the pens and see if there's anything more suited for you. Did we scare him off? Will he actually come back? I think we just scared this him will away. Be simple. Unless something else will appear in here. No. Yeah, I think we just scared him off. Ah! Oh! Goodness. I thought maybe a weird cloaked creature appeared or something. Okay. How about this person, Sondal? To walk apart from house and queens, to walk into the grave. 
Welcome. I trust that you have come to my dueling arena because you are tired of seeing pitiful monsters put to death in the name of sport. A well-respected female such as yourself will know that the only opponent worthy of the drow is another drow. I provide the opportunity. The current match is just beginning. It will be an inspiring display of skill on the part of our most illustrious competitor. I don't have an interest in this, thank you. Very well, let me see this duel of yours. You're not placing our warriors against prisoners, are you? I hardly call that a battle. Yes, show me this duel. Perhaps I'll take my chances with the winner. You're placing our warriors against prisoners? I hardly call that a battle. Nothing like that. Such a thing would not be worthy of the combatants we wish to show. Observe, and you will see the quality of both sides. If I might have everyone's attention, if I may, with the permission of our most distinguished females and the interest of our most hardy males, might I draw your attentions to the pit at the fore? The pride of the males of the first house, master of blades, Le Sauenar, is here to prove his ability to us all. He has accepted an unusual challenge. Four members of the Male Fighter Society have answered a slanderous comment with demands for blood. La Sauna has shown his contempt by facing them all at once. Watch now, and all be concerned will place their lives in the pit, and their fates in their blades. As always, the victor may lay claim to all of the vanquished equipment. Oh. Okay. Wow, uh, I guess Lasaunar is gonna win. Wow, the fighter society is pretty bad if four of them can't take one dude. They have a whole society built around being a fighter, and yet they aren't too good at it. Yeah. Do not question the matron mothers. I am victorious. They were worms, as I said. Their house is weak, their blades dull and listless. You are obviously their superior in both age and skill. Do you gloat over children? A fine battle, though I'll wager there are more there are those that could beat you. Well done. Obviously you are a competent warrior for a male. Truly a fine display. Have you ever met your match? You are obviously their superior in both age and skill. Do you gloat over children? What? Who slanders me? Step into the pit if you think yourself better than I. I believe a challenge. There has been a challenge. Do you accept? I will allow time to prepare if need be. We would want both sides at their best. Be forewarned that this it will be a one on one affair. I will allow no more lopsided slaughters. I, uh, Veldrin, am ready. Take me into the dueling pit. Shahira shall face him now. Sir Animan shall face him now. Jan shall face him now. Edwin. Imowen. Not this time, but I will return when ready. Fuck it, I bet I could do it right now. As you wish. Attention, we have another challenge r immediately. Veldrin will now enter the arena and face Lassenar. The trial rule supreme. Fuck him up. Should I be taking this shit up off the floor too? I feel like I should. Just suck that right up. Good. Look at this fucker, you're toast. Hold! I... I yield. You have proven the better combatant this day. I, I yield the victory. My sword is yours. I no longer deserve it. I will kill you. Oh, glory for the Dark Mother! Chalinthra. Oh, I do not recognize you! <laughs> for such a strong male to come out of nowhere is unusual! <laughs> she sounds like Rita Repulsa. <laughs> 
not strong so much as a Saonar was weak. I defeated his bravado easily. I thank you. I take great pride in my ability. It is none of your concern unless you bring the favor of your house with your words. Not so strong as much as La Saunar was weak. I defeated his bravado easily. I see. Then you will not object to facing me next. La Saunar is my favorite male, and his honor is of value to the first house. Speak with Sandro when you are ready to face me. You have a debt of honor to pay. Huh. Okay. Sure. I mean, I'm out of enrages, so we better do it real quick. Got a bastard sword out of that. I'll stash it. Actually, you know what? Let's ID it real quick. Blade of Searing plus three. The benefits inherent in this sword are plain to see. It is exceptionally accurate, and a lick of flame follows every blow, searing the target in addition to the normal damage received. It is an efficient troll killer, though it has not yet been heralded as such in song or legend. Yeah, that makes sense. Good for killing trolls. We don't have anyone skilled at bastard sword use, though. I'll drink a healing potion, I guess. No time and fuck it, let's all. do it. You have been challenged to fight La Saunas better. She has the right to call for such an action. Then I will answer that challenge. Is there another combatant willing to risk their life against me? I will answer that challenge. Okay, I will do it. Okay. Oh, wait, I think that was new line right there. Veldrin now enters the pit to face Chilinthra. Attention all. Okay, let's fucking all go. Right, then. Yeah! Well, I'm still mad as hell. There we go. Eat a butt. Oh, I killed her. <laughs> I killed her. <laughs> uh, was I supposed to do that? Hello. Do not question the matron mothers. You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. I thank you. Are there any more challenges? I'm done for now. I have nothing more to prove today. Are there more challenges? If you are willing, I have a mage that wishes to further his status in the pit. If you have a mage of your own, you may face him. Oh. A mage battle. Uh, hmm. I mean, Edwin would probably be our go-to mage. But I have none willing to take up that challenge at the moment. Then we have nothing further to say about the matter. Return when you are ready. What about her shit? I didn't get to take any of Shalinthra's bullshit here. Can I go in there? Yeah, look, she left a whole bunch of shit on the ground. Yes, I want yes. that. A ah. standard tactic, that. Can I go in there? Fuck. I don't think I can. <laughs> I think I killed her too good. I can't I can't get the shit now. Yeah, I would have to go in there with Edwin and do it. Fuck. I don't know if Edwin can take it without a rest. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe Edwin could do it. Fuck it. Let's <laughs> let's find out. Let's just find out. Let's see. Yes. Okay, any more challenges? Yeah. Edwin, get in there. Edwin, into the pit. Attention all, a wizard's duel is next. Mage versus mage. Okay, and then... Go, magic missile! Oh, it's just bullshit. Is what we got. Can I toss these things? Yeah, I can. Good. Okay. If I must... I probably should be using some sort of magic delving item or whatever. Oh, I should have used my silence. Okay. What else do I have here? Hmm. Could try to use remove magic. Good. 
good. Another magic missile. Go, Edwin! Do an attack! Shit! Protection from energy. Okay, yeah, we should probably get that. Self-buffed. Holy shit. Skeleton warrior. Go fireball! It's not gonna hit everyone else, is it? No. Good. Go fireball! Good. I mean, I guess we can do a chain lightning. Oh, I thought it would chain over to that dude. I guess because it was the final blow. No dice. Let's fire off another fireball back there. Hit you with the blast. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Cool. Well, they dropped their shit on the floor and we didn't get that. Oh well. Very the well. path to supremacy for a male lies either in the bedchamber or the books of the majors. <laughs> we haven't heard that one yet. You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories from a new face. Are there more challenges? There is another mage that would like to try their skill against yours. It is your decision whether to accept. Okay. Uh, sure, Edwin will do it again. Is Edwin still self-buffed? It's just some garbage. Let's immediately try a silence. Oh. Okay, well, fire that off. Ooh, an ogre berserker. Oh, labor will help. Oh, they're invisible, so I can't see them. Gotcha. Do I have detect invisibility? I don't think I do, but we don't really need it, do we? Shoot a fireball over there into the ground. Oh, fuck. Yeah, shoot one over there. Onto the ground. Okay, well, this ain't going too great. Shoot it onto the ground, Edwin! Did, did I do it? No. Turn off the AI! Just use the fireball, please! Please, just cast the fireball, Edwin! Gosh, I think the- yeah, the silence reflected back. Fuck me. Okay. Well, shoot him. Shoot him with your bullshit. Are they visible now? I think so. Go fireball! That didn't do anything. Okay. Hit him while in viz. <laughs> okay. Yep. Invisible or sanctuaried. No dice. Alright. Well, we can do a delayed blast fireball, I guess. Right? Hmm. Conjure a fire elemental. Could do the horrid wilting. Yeah, let's do a delayed fireball back there. See how that works. Oh, did it work? Or did it get cancelled? Yeah. Throw it back there. 
Oh so shit, Edwin, you're gonna eat you shit here. Keep it in good health. Let's see, can we throw in some healing over there? Yeah. Perfect. A waste of my Oh, you're visible now. There we are. Go! Wizard fight! Wizard melee fight! Good god. My talents are wasted on physical blows. Okay, you know what? Let's shoot another magic missile. Your worthless lives end here! Almost. Honestly, Imowen wouldn't be half bad for doing something like this. Okay. Will there be what? a third challenger? Just as I would have thought. You have done very well. I did not think I would see such surprising victories. Anyone else? Uh, let's see. People are beginning to speak of your skills, your group displays, and magic. Of course, that means others wish to challenge you. Do you have a mage ready to accept? Um, I mean, I don't know if we do. <laughs> I guess we can send Imowen in. Fuck it, let's see. Imowen to the pit! A duel of wizards will now commence! Okay. So what sort of wizard's magic does she have now? Not many amazing things, it's gotta be said. Go, magic missile! Eh, that ain't great. Throw some shit! Gotcha. Any good items? It's just a dagger. Okay. How about Globe of Involm? Huh. Yeah, do that. Self buff. Well, that's where that fool is. Can we launch some shit onto the ground? A delayed blast? Plant it back there? Ooh, a knee shrew. Okay. Lay down some chaos, maybe? Nishru are pretty fucking bad, huh? Gotcha good. Should be able to, like, kite around here, though, a bit. Oh, fuck. Imwin may have been a bad pick for this. Next time. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we try this bow and arrow. Uh-oh. Imwin may not make it. I'm worried about resting and doing it, you know? Huh. Let's see. We could throw down some other arrows. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the fire tooth was ideal. Nishru's gonna fucking get her unless she gets lucky. Ugh, yeah, she's really slowed too. Uh-oh. Oh fuck, there she goes. <laughs> Alright. Let's quick load that. I think we need to play it safe and probably rest, right? I don't know. Because Edwin would probably be the one to do it, but we're not really set up to have our mages do super mage fights. So this is kind of an interesting conceit in and of itself. But yeah, maybe we'll rest and then think about doing this. I'm not sure, because once we rest, I definitely want to talk to what's-their-names over here. I'm not sure. Maybe too much of a challenge for us. I'm not sure. I don't know. We do need... We can definitely kit out maybe. Edwin enough to have, like, counter wizard abilities to do it. You know, we can definitely make that happen. And we could extra cheese it by just buffing everyone up ahead of time before we engage. That's entirely possible as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Edwin's definitely our best kitted out, like, straight up damage dealing wizard. 
Huh. Yeah, I don't know. And we could try and just throw in some shit like the horrid wilting. Right? We could just try that. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just try one more with Edwin even in this diminished state. Don't yet. Go. I can hear you just fine. Good. All right then. Okay, someone else. Oh, Edwin cannot take the challenge. Not this time. Oh, is it because Edwin is counted as invisible right now? Maybe. Okay. If I must. Yeah, <laughs> it was because Edwin was invisible. Okay. Good. And then let's try out. Let's put this enemy sword down to attack for us if they're going to have a Nishru. There we are. Oh, labor will help. I'll go in Viz too. See, it would also help to have like detect in Viz. Because now we're just kind of like chilling. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then what else could we do? I mean, I guess I could just roll up here and start smacking. My talents are wasted on physical blows. Can I cast any weird abilities as this thing? No. It just attacks. A waste of my talents. Oh, it can see through my invis, huh? Stop looking at me. It's a very interesting thing about the invisibility. Let's see, can we breach through their bullshit, though? Hmm. Don't think so. Yeah, because they're invisible. I don't have any detect and viz. The fucking Nishru sure as hell does, though. Gosh, the Mordekainen sword is not doing great. Okay, what else can I fire off here? I could try one of these. Nope, because it's invis. I mean, we could just wait these things out if we wanted. And just keep kiting the Nishru around. As the magical sword tries to do anything. Maybe we just have a go after the Nishru. Uh, Fuck it, right? Because the Nishru yeah, ain't well. fully invis, huh? Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what we probably should have done from the start. Try another breach. Did that work? I think it did. But now we've got this fucking thing out, huh? Let's see. We could have, like, Imwin throw in the, the figurine, right? What is it now? Get some ads out. Oh, a Kithix. Doesn't seem good. I must oh, that's my like Kithix. This. Your life shall be as my if I must. Okay, yeah, that thing's actually doing poison damage. <laughs> the, the fucking spider is, is doing work. Yeah, this is like the appropriate way to use this staff, huh? Just have it on a summoner. Okay. Oh, 
That went quite well. Oh, look, the door actually popped open. Was that the final <gasps> challenge? I can't believe we did that without resting. Okay. Huh? Sure. Sandal, was that it? Yes. The path to supremacy for a male lies either in the bedchamber or the books of the majors. Okay, any new challenges? There are no new opponents. You'll become quite the imposing figure. You are destined for good things if your nation matron takes notice. All right. Great. <laughs> well, that about wraps all that up then. Goodness, I didn't think we'd do it. We got two little arenas dealt with and talked to some people and watched some guy get murdered right in front of us. All right. Well, when next we return, shoot, I guess we may as well look at the rest of the tavern. I'm trying to withhold resting and then talking to our contacts as much as possible. So uh, when next we return, more around the tavern. And don't forget the Baldur's Gate, the, uh, the Baldur's Gate playthrough, uh, all of the CRPG slot, ideally nightly now. Until next time, please take care of each other.